ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today, we are going to talk to Ben Fuchs, who is the creator of Truth Treatments Skin Care. He is also a registered pharmacist, nutritionist, and skin care chemist. In other words, he knows a whole heck of a lot, and I love talking to him. So thank you so much, Ben, for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. All right. So in this interview, we're going to hit on a, a kind of a quote that Ben said, that you said, that I laughed. I thought it was fabulous. But it uh, it's the idea that Cleopatra, in order to have beautiful skin, soaked in um, sour milk. So the idea is, should we soak in sour milk? Yes. Look like Cleopatra. And why does she soak in sour milk? Like, what's well, going on? Yeah, what's going on? Sour milk is a, uh, is a source of a very interesting molecule that is found throughout nature. And not just found throughout nature, it's found throughout our bodies. In fact, this molecule that's in sour milk and it's found throughout our bodies and found throughout nature uh, is uh, a trigger for growth. And when you're running, as we talked about earlier, and you feel the burn in your thighs, right? Or when you're lifting weights and you feel the burn in your, uh, in your biceps, what you're feeling is the action of this molecule, which is a low pH molecule, an acid, if you will, called lactic acid. Lactic acid is found in milk, but there's a lot of these molecules found in nature that are part of a family of molecules that lactic acid is a member of, or a child of, if you will. And these, the, the name of the family of molecules is alpha hydroxy acids, the AHAs. And just as an aside, when AHAs, when the power of AHAs was first recognized in the uh, skincare business, it completely revolutionized skincare, so much so that uh, as soon as AHAs came out, that's when F the profession of aestheticians were born. And you're an aesthetician, right? I'm, right? Yeah. You wouldn't have been an aesthetician before 1991 because there were no aestheticians before 1991. In 1991, what was uh, a revolution took place in over-the-counter skincare, and that was the revolution, the alpha hydroxy acid revolution. I don't remember, I don't know if you were in skincare in, in the early 90s, but perhaps you remember that Cosmo and Vogue and all these celebrities and the news, they were all talking about AHAs because this company, uh, Estee Lauder, released a product called Fruition. And Fruit, do you remember Fruition? I remember Fruition, yes, I do. You remember how it changed, like all yeah. of a sudden, this huge thing, Fruition. Yeah. It wasn't about Fruition. Fruition was the first over-the-counter product that contained alpha hydroxy acids. And what alpha hydroxy acids did for the skincare business is it allowed the home or a uh, home user, the consumer, to get the same benefits in their bathroom that they had to go to a salon or a spa or a dermatologist or even a plastic surgeon to get previously. Alpha hydroxy acids became the most famous cosmeceutical. In other words, cosma for cosmetic, cuticle for pharmaceutical. They became the first cosmetic ingredient that had the same effects and allowed consumers to get the same effects as using a pharmaceutical substance. So they, in fact, the word cosmeceutical became popularized. It was around before in terms of retinoic acid. That was actually the first cosmeceutical. But in terms of over-the-counter uh, ingredients, it became recognized as the most famous of the cosmeceuticals. And it, it opened up a whole world of, uh, of uh, functionality for skincare ingredients and a whole world of opportunity for uh, cosmeticians, they were previously they were cosmeticians, to now really do something to people's skin, to allow the consumer as well as the professional to really do uh, work on somebody's skin in terms of fine lines and wrinkles, in terms of hyperpigmentation, and in terms of overall skin health. What made alpha hydroxy acids, and I should tell you this real quickly, before uh, fruition, alpha hydroxy acids were used in pharmacy. Savvy dermatologists knew about alpha hydroxy acids. In fact, savvy dermatologists who were reading the literature knew about alpha hydroxy acids since the 1960s, even before that they were really savvy, because that's how long, that's when we first recognized that these alpha hydroxy acids, the most famous, which is called glycolic acid, has an effect on the skin. And I remember I had a dirt when I uh, opened up my pharmacy, my skincare pharmacy in 1990, believe it or not. Can you believe that? Oh my God. I can't. Wow. Saying that. <laughs> it makes you feel old, right? <laughs> I remember I had a dermatologist who was writing me prescriptions for glycolic acid for his patients. And so I bought a drum of glycolic acid, a 55-gallon drum for $200. All 
a 55 gallon drum of 70% glycolic acid. And I started experimenting with it. I started making products with it. I started selling it in the gallon jugs to estheticians who would do peels with it. And this is before anybody heard of it. And then all of a sudden, fruition came out and the cat was out of the bag and everybody knew about it. And I was well situated because I had this drum and I had been already working with glycolic acid. And I started to make, I started to make a lot of products with glycolic acid as well as lactic acid and other alpha hydroxy acids. And I made myself into an alpha hydroxy acid expert. Here's what alpha hydroxy acids do that's so fascinating. First of all, let me just tell you this. Every cell in the body, every cell in the body derives its energy from alpha hydroxy acids. They are the beginning of the energy process chemistry or the energy process cycle, energy process biochemical pathway that every cell makes energy from. So all cells, whether they're plant cells or bacterial cells or fungal cells or human cells or skin cells or liver cells, all get their energy from alpha hydroxy acids, which means that these things are, that the human body is well equipped to be able to handle alpha hydroxy acids. They're completely benign and completely non-toxic. In fact, every time you bite into an apple or, or drink a glass of orange juice or have some wine, you're drinking and, or milk, you're drinking or you're eating alpha hydroxy acids. Yet when you put them on the skin, on top of the skin, something very interesting happens. Number one, Alpha hydroxy acids have a unique ability to dissolve the glue that holds dead skin cells in place. So your skin is made up in layers, as you know, and the surface of the skin, it's called the stratum corneum, is made up of dead cells, They're called corneocytes. And these dead cells stick together. And over the course of time, there's chemistry in the skin, enzymes in the skin, that break down these dead cells, the glue that holds the dead cells together, and the dead cells flop off. And that's what's supposed to happen. And right now, as, you, as you're talking to me on, the, uh, on Zoom, dead skin cells are flopping off of your skin and they're flying all over your, your little room there. And they're flying off of my skin. They're flying off all in the room. And the average dust ball under your bed is 50% dead skin cells. Oh my God. That have flopped off, right? <laughs> kind of I didn't know that. Yeah. And if you're in a room, if you're in a room with a bunch of people, there's dead skin cells flying all over the room, right? Lovely, and, lovely. Is, nice visual right so the thing is that's a good thing because the body the skin has this out with the old in with the new kind of mentality so the the dead skin cells flopping off in the process by the way is called desquamation the the desquamatory desquamation process of the skin cells flopping off stimulates new cells to rise to the top this is a, a, a built-in evolutionarily designed wound healing mechanism repairs itself you know i don't know if you know ever heard of these things but there's these tires you can wear or you can buy that are self heal that are uh, self-repairing so if you get a flat if you get a run over a nail they have these tires now that will actually seal the hole from the nail have you ever seen these are self repairing oh that's cool that's cool right yeah. well this is way ahead of that the skin has been doing this self-repair thing for years for for billions of years or for millions of years and every time you cut yourself new skin cells rise to the top from the bottom and repair the cut, just like a self-repairing tire. Well, that repair mechanism is initiated when, you, when your skin cells des desquamate. And so the desquamatory process is designed by nature to stimulate new cells to, to replace the old ones that have desquamated. So far, so good. However, as we get older, are you there? Yep. As we get older, as we get older, desquamation does not occur as efficiently because the chemistry in the skin is not as efficient. Or if we're not healthy, desquamation does not occur as efficiently. And so skin cells don't rise to the top and you end up with old cells on the surface and no new cells rising up. So what can you do? You can do an artificial desquamation and that artificial desquamation is called exfoliation. And alpha hydroxy acids are, a, are probably the best uh, exfoliating agent you can have because they dissolve the glue that holds those dead skin cells in place, replacing the activity of the enzymes that are supposed to be doing it in, in the case of old, old age or, or older age, or in the case of unhealthy skin. And they kind of replace the active activity of the enzymes and they kind of give you an artificial desquamation, a home version of desquamation. So exfoliation mimics or imitates the desquamatory process that slows down as we get older and turns on the growth of new cells, as well as turning on the growth of collagen and connective tissue, and you get an overall stimulating effect. 
And that stimulating effect, that exfoliating effect, I think of as exercise for the skin. Because right. just like when you exercise, your muscle cells will secrete acids. Those acids turn on growth. When you put acids on the surface of the skin, you get an exfoliating effect that also turns on growth. However, however, you get an extra benefit, okay? You can exfoliate, by the way, with a washcloth. You can exfoliate with a scrub, with strawberries, with, with uh, strawberry seeds, or with walnut shells, or loofah pads, or even uh, microderm. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Microdermabrasion. Is that right. what it's called? Microdermabrasion. Yes. Uh -huh. Microdermabrasion, where they shoot little crystals. There's little. Loop. These are all ways to 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 uh, exfoliate, to duplicate desquamation. But with alpha hydroxy acids, you get an extra benefit. Okay. The extra benefit involves acid. You see, acid we think of as a, being a chemical. We think when we think of acid, we think of chemicals. But acid's not really chemical. Acid is electricity. We think of it as a chemical, but what makes something acidic is electricity. In fact, it's a specific form of electricity called a, a proton. I don't want to get too much into quantum, but this is really what's occurring. It's a quantum effect. When you put acid on the skin, what that acid is doing is delivering a little piece of electricity. Te technically, it's negative electricity. We're not going to really get into that. And that piece of electricity, or negative electricity, if you're a, if you're a, a chemist, goes into a skin cell and tells that skin cell to work. It commands a skin cell. It activates a skin cell. It initiates a skin cell, and it, I say it initiates behavior in a skin cell that makes that skin cell produce more natural moisture factors or to produce more collagen and high hyaluronic acid to do more activity. It activates the skin cell. So you get a double effect with alpha hydroxy acids, a double stimulating effect, a double growth effect, a double anti-aging effect. You get number one, a, an exfoliating effect, which turns on skin cells. And number two, you get an electrical effect which turns on skin cells. And that's what makes alpha hydroxy acids unique and singular in, in the, the world of exfoliating agents of which there are many. Now I'll also say this, uh, we talked about the long-term effects or the secondary effects of exfoliation, that is initiating activity at the level of the skin cell, but you also get immediate effects. You get resurfacing effects. You get retexturizing effects. You get a smoothing of the skin surface. You get a softening of the skin surface and bonus, if you have dark spots, you get an, uh, a lightening of the skin by removal, uh, improving the sloughing off of the dark spots. And as if that weren't enough benefits, if you have clogged pores, you get an unroofing of those pores by virtue of the exfoliating effect. So to me, it's absolutely crazy if you're interested in anti-aging skincare, not to be using alpha hydroxy acids on a regular basis. However, you got to keep in mind that Alpha hydroxy acids have an exercise like effect on the skin. They're stimulating by virtue of causing some stress, which is what exercise is stress leading to stimulation. Well, when you exercise, you got to take days off, right? So you don't want to overdo. When you're working on the gym, you work out your upper body on Monday and you work out your lower body on Tuesday. So you give your upper body a chance to rest on Tuesday, you give your lower body a chance to rest on Monday. And it's this rest and recovery stage when the tissue grows. So you want to know how to leverage the recovery phase. You want to know how to leverage the rest period. And that's the way the body likes stress. And that's the way the body maximizes the benefits that you get from exercise and from the stress response. Stress in bursts followed by rest. More stress in bursts followed by rest. And that's how you do any kind of stimulation on the brain if you're doing crossword puzzles or you're, you're studying a new... Uh, studying a new language or you're learning something in school, it's important that you study and then you stop studying. Right. That's the way the brain likes to absorb information. Likewise, the body, the musculature of the body, it likes intensity followed by rest. Likewise, with the skin, you want to put something stressful or stimulating, low pH on the skin, and then give it time to recover. So hit on, um, that was fabulous. Now let's hit on um, people with eczema or um, rosacea or any sort of skin irritation, because I've often had people ask, well, wait a minute, I have, you know, very sensitive skin. I've got all these issues. And then if I use it, it makes it ir even more irritated. Yeah. The most uh, relevant part of the skin when it comes to its health and its ability to be 
worked on or exercised or stressed is the stratum cornea. Now, you, you and I in the skincare business, we're always hearing that the stratum cornea is dead, right? right? But that's not quite exactly right. See, the stratum cornea in the skin surface is made up of dead cells, but the dead cells are surrounded by fats. And they call this the brick and mortar model. And you can think of the dead cells, they're called corneocytes as being bricks. And then the fats that kind of fill in the spaces between the cells, the mortar, if you will, are made up of fats. If you are not eating the right kinds of fats, or you're not digesting the right kinds of fats, or you don't have the right kinds of fatty nutrients in terms of supplementation, your stratum corneum barrier is going to be weak. And when that stratum corneum barrier is weak, numerous skin, uh, skin health issues are, uh, arise, including sensitive skin, eczematic skin, dermatitis, sun sensitivities, and hyperpigmentation. So if you have any of these conditions and then you try to exercise or put a stressor on the skin, you might have a problem, much like if you just got out of the hospital and you had major surgery and then you tried to go into the gym and started to lift 250 pounds on the bench press. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get stronger. You'd probably kill yourself or at least you'd hurt yourself pretty badly. So you want to make sure that the skin is strong enough to be able to handle exercise, to be able to handle stressors. Yes, stress is a good thing, but you got to make sure that the tissue is able to handle the stress that you're using. So the best way to take care of these conditions like eczema skin or dermatitis skin or sensitive skin, if you want to use alpha hydroxy acids is number one, start off slowly. Mm -hmm. Don't use an intense concentration. Don't use a very low pH. Stick with a pH that's closer to the skin, which is around four-ish, 4.5-ish. Stick with a concentration of alpha hydroxy acids that's low and simultaneously build the, uh, the fats and build the health of the stratum corneum with essential fatty acid supplements, with vitamin A supplements, with digestive enzymes. If you're not processing your fats, if you've had a gallbladder removed, you're going to have problems. If you have a pancreatic issue or an intestinal issue, you're going to have a problem. So use probiotics, use pancreatic enzymes, use bile salts, work on the digestive system and work on your internal nutrition so you can strengthen that stratum corneum. You can also strengthen the stratum corneum with, with topical nutrition. Vitamin C will help strengthen the stat stratum corneum. Niacin, both internally and topically, will help uh, strengthen the stratum corneum. And ironically, and interestingly, alpha hydroxy acids, which act as a stressor, will also stimulate the, the health of the stratum corneum. So use your alpha hydroxy acids strategically and carefully and work with an esthetician like Suzanne who can help guide you through the process. Seriously, work with a professional who can help guide you through the, through the process because the same stimulating ingredients which are problematic for fragile, weak, vulnerable, or sensitive skin are also important for, for uh, strengthening fragile, weak, or sensitive skin. So right. work with somebody who can help guide you through that process. I love the fact that you bring health into it. I, I think this is so key and I think so many women it's almost like, or, or not just women, I think it's people in general that, you know, like I'll bring up, look, you've got to start working on your, your bio, bio biodome. Bio, is that the right word? Microbiome. Microbiome. I don't know why the word wasn't coming, but you have to work on this at the same time. You can't just sit, like, we're yeah. so used to separating, well, my finger hurts, go have your finger seen. No, no, no. It, it could be other things. Like I think really looking at the fact that internally your stomach is, or your gut is your second brain. It's, it's what shows through on your skin. Absolutely. Not only that, but the microbiome in your intestine determines the health of the microbiome on your skin. Right. And people who have eczema and sensitive skin and rosacea have a disrupted microbiome on the skin, which can be secondary to a disrupted microbiome in their intestine. So right. yes, using probiotics, leaky gut is another issue, strengthening the, the, the intestine, the, the lining of the intestine, using things like gelatin or glutamine or uh, uh, fatty acids like butyric acid or uh, fiber, making sure you're getting enough fiber, which gets turned into food for, for uh, probiotics, fiber acts as a prebiotic. In fact, you could actually use things like hyaluronic acid on the surface of the skin to correct and to uh, disruptions in the microbiome on the surface of the skin and to produce a healthy microbiome on the skin. So you, working with the microbiome topically as well as internally is another great strategy and you're absolutely correct. Health is beauty. You know, mm -hmm. we fake out health. The reason we wear makeup and the reason we put various skincare products on our skin 
is partially at least, some of it's for the comfort of the skin, but partially it's to imitate health, right. to stimulate the look of health. Why simulate health when you can stimulate health? Right. Is the health skin really healthy by understanding how to correct internal uh, imbalances, to work on your internal health, as well as your topical health? Healthy skin is beautiful skin. Well, absolutely. And I think that's a great message to leave everybody with when it comes to alpha hydroxy acids, using them externally and also taking care of our internal health so that it can all work together. And it does all work together. I always joke, you're a whole being. You're not, you know what I mean? You're not pieces of a being that we've been taught. I mean, that's sort of the modern medical model is, you know, yeah. And it's, it's ridiculous. It's rubbish, right? It's a reductionist model that thinks it can isolate specific organs. The skin is not isolated. It's integrated with the, right. with the entire body. And as goes the, the inside of the body, so goes the outside of the body. As goes the health of your inside, so goes the health of your skin and ultimately the beauty in its look. Is that all for the skin barrier? You know, I forgot to mention essential fatty acids, both omega-6 essential fatty acids and omega-3 essential fatty acids that are found in various food sources as well as supplements. And then also fish oil which does not contain essential fatty acids. It contains two very important fatty acids uh, that are very helpful for, for the skin. They're not essential. So a good essential fatty acid supplement or foods that contain essential fatty acids plus uh, fish or fish oil, you get these two other fatty acids, EPA and DHA. Awesome. That's great. That's very important because that breaks it down into how we can get that into our diet with the omega-3s and the fish yes. oil. Yes, exactly. So thank you for bringing that up. All right. Well, thank you, Ben, so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Yes. Thank and ladies, you. thank you so much for watching The Beauty Shaman. Definitely take to heart everything Ben said. It is absolutely true. Those are the things I practice. So please stay tuned for other interviews from Ben. We're going to be talking every month. All right. Thank you for watching The Beauty Shaman.